Hello there YouTube. So I made a center punch out of a ratchet. At the end I have some pictures that shows how I cut it off. I'm missing a picture to where when I first ground it to a point I used my four and a half inch grinder. I ground it four sides then I ground that off which made like eight sides. I think you'll I think you'll see there of how that how that works even though I missed that step. Then after you get that done you've got your beginning taper then I put on my grindstone then I finished it off after I've got it all shaped the way I wanted I cannot tell you the angle but I used my sanding little sanding disc that I'd made for my mini grinder to polish this. This is needle sharp. It'll poke you. It's needle sharp. It will poke you. Which in time, it's going to dull. So I'd rather have it sharp as I can get it because I can always touch it up. If you take care of a center punch, you can always touch it up lightly. I'll be able to use my sanding disc unless I get carried away on something. Trying to get this to focus the best I can. Experimenting with the light in here. Someday I'll have a better camera. Seems to focus further away. Just a cheap ratchet. It was so cheap they wouldn't even put their name on it. And I do not like this their old stuff on ratchets. It digs in your hand. The cheap ones are made. It's so sharp it'll just tear your hand up. Some of the cheap ones they put a rubber piece of rubber on there to cushion it after they did all the work of knurling it. Like, maybe that's supposed to hold the rubber piece on. But enough ran on the El Cheapo tools. But it's a cheap one. My tip would be when you're grinding this, keep it cool. It's not so bad when you're grinding the four sides, walk away, let it cool. I go ahead and stick it in water because I get in a hurry. But if you take the hardness out by heating it, cooling it, heating, cooling it. You're not going to have a very good tool. The idea for me to make these is to have a nice hard piece of steel. Better than some of the cheap punches you buy. And I think this is not quite six inches long. I had the ruler. I took a picture with the ruler. But the ratchet was junk. I can't believe it cleaned up that bad. I'd lost it. I'd seen it laying around my junk was all rusted. And I found it again. So by the time I ever got to do this, it was pretty rusted. It laid around on the ground and junk. All busted up, no good. But it's a good recycle for an old ratchet. I haven't figured out too many other things to make with a ratchet handle. Maybe the handle on a little hammer. I've done that. I did make a scraper out of a squared one. I think that's in a video of my favorite tools. I made like a little gasket scraper. It's not a putty knife, it's an actual gasket scraper. Like on a somewhere on a car engine, you get all that stuff on there where you kick the head gasket off. Don't wanna make this too long. But that's it. I have pictures at the end. Thanks for watching.